Hello there, I'm Eric Renault, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com. It's a free website for everything Photoshop, Lightroom, and anything else we find interesting. In this video, we're gonna take a look at contact sheets, and I'm gonna be using Bridge, but you can also go straight from Photoshop to do exactly the same. Okay, let's jump in and see how it's done. So here I am in Adobe Bridge, and what I've got is a load of images, 24 in total, and I've got one selected. Now, I'd like to make a contact sheet of all of these, so I can press Control or Command A to select all. Now, if you don't want all the images in your folder, then you can always use the Control or Command to deselect them, or you can use the Control or Command to select ones you want to make as well. But I want all 24 for mine. Now, to make a contact sheet, all I need to do then is to go to Tools, and then down to Photoshop, and you can see that we've got Contact Sheet 2 there for us with these three dots. Now these three dots mean that we're gonna open up a dialog box. So let's click on that and let it open. Okay, it opens up Photoshop if I need it to be open, and then opens up the dialog box as well. I've got confirmation at the top that I've got 24 image that I'd like to add to this contact sheet. Underneath that, I can set out the dimensions of my documents. And in this case, I'm gonna to stick to the defaults there. Okay, underneath that, it's the way that we're gonna place these. Now at the moment, the default is across first, so that's going to be across the page and then down. Whereas you can have it going down, that's left to right going down in columns. I'm gonna keep it as across first. As default, this will come in as six by six columns and rows, but I'm gonna change that to four. And the reason for that is if I keep it six to six and I've only got 24 images, the bottom of the page will be left blank, whereas six by four is my full 24 and I'll complete the page. Okay, I'm gonna use auto spacing and I'm gonna ask it to use the file names as the caption so that we can always see what the name of the file is. I could change the font if I wish and its size. In fact, for this, I might go from eight down to six. And then tap OK, and off it goes. Now this doesn't seem like it's doing much for a while, but it is actually putting together all the contact sheet for me. And any second now, it's gonna pop up with all my images. Now, if it takes too long, I'll of course fade out and fade back again, but I'm actually hoping that I'll be able to show you this in real time, at least this first one that we do, just so you get some idea of the speed that it works. Okay, I'm not expecting it to take much longer. I really should have spoken a little bit slowly there, shouldn't I? All right, here we go. Come on then. It's going to do it any second now. There we go. There it is, our contact sheet. I'm going to press Ctrl or Command 0 just to fit this on screen so we can see it a bit better. And you can see that each image has been brought in and it's got the name of the file underneath, exactly what we asked for. However, let's go back and have a look at some of those other options. I'm gonna do exactly the same, go to Tools and then Photoshop and then down to Contact Sheet, there we go. And again, I'm gonna to stick to the total 24 and six by four. This time, however, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Rotate for Best Fit, and we'll have a look at the difference. I'm going to click OK. Now this time what's going to happen is it's going to rotate the images, as you might expect, just so they fit better along the page. And there we go, we've got our contact sheet, but this time some of it has been rotated. So here you can see that these ones, which were landscape, are now portrait. They're in exactly the same order if I go between the two, but now it just fits a little bit better. Okay, there's one other option that I need to show you. You can see on both the contact sheets that I've created so far that I've got all these different layers and I've got a mask for each image that I'm bringing in. I can also go in and change any of the text as well. However, I may not want that. I may want just a quick contact sheet that I can then print off and send away. To do that, if I go back to Bridge and again I choose Tools, and then Photoshop and Contact Sheet, there's one more checkbox that we can use, and that's this one here, Flatten All Layers. If I click on that and then click OK, off it goes, makes a new contact sheet, but this time it's just gonna be in one layer. It's gonna flatten everything down, which is great if you just want a quick file that you can send off as a JPEG perhaps to a client. There we go, a contact sheet that is all in one layer. Now, of course, if you don't check that box and you want it all in one layer, it's no big deal just to squash everything down, but it is there for you should you wish to use it. 
So there we go, creating contact sheets via Adobe Bridge. If you wanted to do it via Photoshop, just go to File and Automate, and it's in there just as it is if you come from Bridge. So there we go. I'm Eric Renault. Thank you very much for joining me for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.